Welcome to my Cambodia vlog. I started off in Siem Reap uh, to watch the sunrise at the Angkor Wat temples, but there was not a great sunrise because it was super cloudy. And this is what we got significantly underwhelming. But it didn't take away from the temples, which were magnificent. To be completely honest, Cambodia initially wasn't on my radar, but I saw a picture on Instagram of one of the islands and I was just like, whoa, that's Cambodia? And I saw why they call it the Maldives of Southeast Asia because the islands were just incredibly beautiful. And that was kind of like the main point I was excited to see. I mean, yes, of course, these temples were amazing, but I was really excited to go down to the islands and explore them. This is a really cool place, honestly. Just mind blowing how they did all of this. How they built all of this. They built it over 37 years. And the detail in literally every building, every structure is incredible. It's all so perfectly aligned and equally proportionate. It's amazing. And it's just surrounded by nature. And yeah, there's definitely a holiness to Ankavat. This is our lunch stop where we are getting lunch or breakfast, <laughs> lunch breakfast. Um, yeah. After brunch, we went to the second temple, which was one of the temples that the movie Lara Croft was shot in, which was actually pretty cool. We got to see the exact spots, and yeah, it was just amazing because the trees and temples were just intertwined with each other. I'm a tree hugger, and I had to take the opportunity to just hug the tree because it was just marvelous. exceptional tour guide who was an actual archaeologist at the temple of like the ruins and so he knew so much information he was extremely knowledgeable about just everything that has to do with the temples and it was just amazing learning from the history of the temples from him and yeah i would honestly recommend getting a tour guide whenever you do go to the temples huge project that's also from India. You can see all the different things between new elements and original elements. With this one of the restoration project of Curse Idea that is under controlling by UNESCO. Out about the dinosaur period it's gonna be like million years yeah, yeah. yeah. but how we visited 
visited the three main temples in our tour and I have to say that the, this last temple was probably the most interesting and just beautiful. The second temple of course was very unique and I enjoyed that a lot but this temple was just like amazing because of just like the details the in crafting like the smiling buddha faces in every corner that you stand you would be able to see a smiling buddha face which is just incredible just like mind-blowing how they were able to do that at that time it's just amazing honestly After the temple tour, I went to a vegan restaurant and my grab driver had his girlfriend with him in the, in the ride. So I was third wheeling, literally, <laughs> in a three-wheeler car. So I actually haven't really updated you guys on what's going on and what the timeline is right now. But it's around 4 o'clock, maybe 4 o'clock. I woke up at 4 a.m. today to go watch the sunrise at Angkor Wat which was really not great like it was super cloudy and we were all just like really like really this is what we get but yeah it was it was it wasn't great when well, it's not what we expected you know we wanted to see the whole sunrise you know but anyway it was a really long day from I guess from 4 to 12 we were exploring the temples and we I booked like a tour through my hostel um, with like an English speaking guide and so we got just we got driven around and he, it was really nice I think I think it's worth it to pay for the tour because if you don't pay for the tour then you know you're sort of just like exploring on your own and you don't really get to know the history behind any other buildings unless you do your research beforehand so it was nice to have the guide because then they just tell us about the history um yeah so it was a really good experience and i met some new people along the way which is always great when you're solo traveling to sometimes do some group activities because that way you can meet people um but yeah and so we did that we got back to the hostel and then I had a really great conversation with one of the guys that I was that was on the tour with us um, and we just sat there talking for like I think maybe like two hours we were just having like a really cool like really deep conversation about just like every single topic there is to talk about um, so that was like a really cool experience because we just kind of just really clicked um, which was really cool really really cool now I'm at uh, a speaking restaurant and yeah, I'm getting some food and then later tonight I will be taking a bus to Sahanukville. I don't even know if I'm saying that right, probably butchered it, but you know, whatever. Um, and then yeah, I'll, I'll arrive tomorrow morning um, around 8.30 or 7.30 around there. And then I'll be taking a ferry to go to Korang Island. And then, yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> Like, I'm just really excited to just be a beach bum and just be an island girl again. I'm looking forward to it a lot. But yeah, St. Reef has been pretty good. Pretty charming city, really charming. And there's so many vegan restaurants, but I don't have enough time to like try all of them. So, you know, it is what it is. I got a mushroom, cold mushroom burger and a tea lemonade drink looks really good. I now got some pancakes with some banana and mango. After my meal, I went back to the hostel and I had to check out and then we just waited at the chill room and that's where i met some people that you'll see later on in the video and we just watched my planet because why not
I am in Sydney. I found this mix because I put granola and it's vegan um, in this, and so chocolate milk, almond grease chocolate milk, and I guess that's my breakfast for today. So I just got off that boat off pier and now I am walking to my bike in the trees where I'm really staying and this is absolutely beautiful. It is so pretty. Okay. And I'm excited. I've met like the nicest people already. Just like just randomly meeting people and we're going to be going to the festival later and yeah I'm excited like this place is so pretty so beautiful I'm so happy to be here uh, this is a falafel wrap of fries empty here. Yeah, I think everybody has gone that side or is going. This sand is so white. So to get we have to cross this little river. Like the lagoon is connected to the ocean. It's incredible. And the lagoon is kind of like green. to get some food but that took longer than expected because my food took over an hour to be prepared we're about to get some paint what color do you want pink you want pink how the 
rest of the island looks. It is very much under development. Um, yeah, I mean, I see cars going. I'm not sure where they're going, but maybe to other um, to other beaches. I don't know if I wanted to get a bike, but I don't know. This is called the Walking Street. It also has some restaurants and shops uh, that you can buy various things from. The water is quite choppy today, so I can't really do any snorkeling. Maybe later at like 12, uh, they'll see if the water's a bit calmer and if not, I guess they'll no snorkeling. Maybe I'll have to do it tomorrow, I'm not sure. But today, today's going to be a really chill day. I'm literally just going to chill by the beach. Um, and yeah, like just really just do nothing. shading needs a bit of work but <laughs> honestly painting with watercolors isn't my strong suit um, but it's a great process to just watch my development and you know I'll just keep getting better and better but honestly my art is nothing to write home about but it's just a great way especially when you're on an island to just relax and to just spend hours getting lost in the painting I was literally napping for hours but after my nap I went to this place which has the most delicious falafel wrap I've ever had like it's so good like it was delicious I went back again to get it later that night but it was so so good surrounded by a lot of people and yeah I mean I'm solo traveling for a reason because I just sort of just want to be alone and to do things on my own. Although it's great to meet people um, and to spend time with them. Yeah I mean I don't really I guess yeah it's just like the vibes weren't all there they weren't all matching and so yeah it's kind of a bit I just wanted to be alone that's the point I just wanted to be alone as I spent pretty much the whole day today just soaking in the vibes. This island actually, uh, Korong Island, is an island that one of the seasons for Survivor was filmed, which is pretty cool because like going on Survivor is like one of my dreams and like well I'm on the same island as like that was filmed, so it's pretty cool. Uh, it's pretty cool in my book. So yeah, I've just come from the ocean and I'm gonna go back and yeah, I've pretty much just been swimming and eating and hiking.
got a tuk-tuk to take us to a beach where we could watch the sunset and they were charging us $15 but we had a friend and he was really good at negotiating and we paid like half the price nearly. So we made it to Love Love Beach, beach. for the sunset. Oh, uh, yeah. happy, it was like, swim, really. oh gosh, why didn't I bring my swimsuit? I'm, I'm all tired now. Oh. Just to be jammed. Oh my god, but... so nice. Oh, <laughs> wow, I'm glad that we come here. Me too. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. Yeah, it's so crazy. It's a perfect time. We are not too early. And the sun is still so early. Wow. Wow. It's over here! This beach is incredible. I got my journal. And this is Beautiful. because the other Korong is a lot more chill, a lot more mellow. Um, but yeah, I do have to hike to get to my accommodation. So that's gonna be interesting. But yeah, I'm ready. I'm really excited. <laughs> this is my breakfast, a monkey power smoothie. It's got banana, cacao, and other stuff. Thank you for watching this first video of my Cambodia trip and I'll see you in the next video and thank you for being here with me and sharing these moments with me.